to my bedroom, honey. What I got will make you spend money all night long. <laughs> I don't know why that song is in my head. All night long. <laughs> All right, collective. What's popping? What's popping? What's popping? I'm your girl, the Empress. Happy to be here with y'all. Hold on, let me take a sip of my water. <clears throat> From the islands of Fiji. All right, so let's see what we got, y'all. This is going to be a collective read, so it may or may not resonate, okay? Don't freak out if it does not. You can always check your, um, your sun, moon, and rising videos. They are all posted for September, okay? Um, but this is going to be for, you know, just the extra, you know, for whoever needs it, whoever is for, okay? So, what's today? Today is the 23rd, so we're going to do the 23rd through the remainder of September. I think September has 30 days, so from the 23rd through the 30th, alright, so... What messages are there for my collective? Give me a read for my collective, please. <laughs> I knew this was going to pop out because it's <laughs> during the pre-shuffle it came out. So I really want you guys to open up your ears because, I mean, I'm going to, I want you guys to follow the cards. Um, but sometimes spirit just gets to going and I just like, you know. I just want y'all to pay attention, okay? <laughs> All right. Give me a message for the collective. The Ace of Cups, okay? And I may not show all, you know, all of the cards. I try to. I knew it. I knew it. Ooh, okay. All right. Step into my bedroom, honey. What I got will make you spend money. Okay. Very, very interesting. At the bottom of the deck, we got the Ace of Swords in the world. Okay, so it looks like it looks like you could be waiting to wrap up a chapter. Um, and it looks like you're looking for some clarity as well. I feel like some of y'all are in a good place, like emotionally. Like we got the Ace of Cups as your energy. So some of you may be feeling very in like loving, caring energy. Okay. Um, and I feel like some of y'all are feeling like that. Some of you, I want to put this out there too. Some of you guys have a new love interest. Okay. Got a new man. Okay. He might be a little older, more mature <laughs> with that emperor there. Okay. Why is the Ace of Cups here? But I'm getting that there is like this loving energy, okay? We got the Three of Pentacles. Some of you got a new job, okay? I feel like somebody could have, yeah, some, somebody, you know, got laid off. I'm seeing that too. Somebody got laid off or somebody, um, if it's pertaining to work, somebody got laid off and they have a new job. They got a new boss with that emperor there. Um, and I'm also seeing too, like you cut off somebody and you're just like happy. Like you're just, I feel like you feel refreshed, revitalized, new because I got y'all into something and moving on. Okay. Yeah. Making a decision, you know, to move on. Why is the three of pentacles here? 
Some of y'all have a new business venture that you're starting as well. See, so yeah, the lovers and the queen of swords. Yes. Queen of swords and the king of swords here at the bottom of the deck. Oh, then look, the two of pentacles. <laughs> okay, so the lovers could be a decision in love, but I feel like you are the queen of swords. She's about thoughts, okay? She's about the truth. She's about getting down to the nitty gritty of a situation. I feel like you, a lot of y'all have come up with new ideas, okay? New ideas in a business venture, okay? Some of y'all are coming up with a new idea in a business venture. Some of you guys are being your own boss. Why is the emperor here? I just want to clearly see why the emperor. Oh my gosh, the emperor and the empress? Oh, wow. This is a match. The perfect match. Okay, so for some of you, this is in regards to a partnership. Oh, look, the page. I didn't even see this. The page of swords and the tower. There's some shocking news. Is there some sh shocking news because somebody got back together? The empress and the emperor. Oh, this is a bit, this is um, what they call them, uh, relationship goals. This is the, oh, what do they call it? Um, uh, it'll come to me. But this is definitely like the leader of the packs. This is relationship goals, okay? And I feel like maybe some of you got back together. Or you guys, because uh, I got the Six of Cups here. And this is some shocking news to people. Yeah, see the Ten of Cups. So there's this could be like a reuniting thing with the Six of Cups here. Why is the Six of Cups here? Six of Swords. Lots of Sixes. Okay. King of Pentacles. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Nine of Swords. Um, someone's working their ass off here. I'm seeing somebody working, has been working their ass off or somebody's feeling like they work too much to, um, to, you know, work too hard on something. Yeah. To give something up. Power couple. That's what I was looking for. Power couple. <laughs> I couldn't get the words. Power couple. That's what it is. Six of Swords and the Six of Cups is someone moving on from their past, getting over the past. Why is the Six of Swords here? So, are you have you gotten over something? Are you letting something go? Ace of Swords, some truth came out. The Sun card, you've gained clarity of something, and I feel like you guys have are letting something go from your past, and now you two guys can be this power couple. Oh wow. Y'all going y'all got some haters. Five of Wands. Wow. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Yes, forward movement. The chariot and the eight of wands. The chariot and the eight of wands is definitely progression and movement forward. So you've gotten over something in your past. And I feel like you decided that you want to be with this person. Um, and you guys are trying to be this power couple or you are this power couple. Okay, look at this. Oh, my God. Look at this. Oh, my God. The star. <laughs> the ace of pentacles. The ace of wands. Yes. This is a new venture. Like, this is a new, fresh idea. I feel like you're trying to be, you You guys are taking it up a notch. And with the Eight of Wands and the Chariot, this could be like a trip, okay? Because this is definitely like traveling. But I feel like you are, you've gotten over something. You've gained your clarity. You see things clearer now. Um, and I feel like you want to be like this power couple with this person. Why is the Emperor and the, the Empress here? This is your twin flame energy. Look at this. Queen of Pentacles. Nine of Wands. Wow, okay. 
Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? The judgment, yes. Okay, so somebody could have been trying to block this union from happening here. Okay, or there was a lot that went on in this in this uh, union that I see here that someone here is very wounded um, and has been through the mud, been through it. The Queen of Pentacles and the Judgment, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Judgment being that final decision. The Nine of Cups. Yes, yeah, somebody wants to make a final decision. Yes, the Wheel of Fortune. The universe stepped in. The universe stepped in. Oh my gosh. The high priestess and the nine of pentacles. Your intuition is telling you that this is going to work. That this could be successful. And I feel like you're going for it. You're going to, you're going to give this thing a shot. You're going to see where this goes. Page of wands. Page of wands and the knight of pentacles. Okay, I feel like, yeah, see the Six of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles. I feel like maybe you had a, a conversation with this person that they were moving kind of slow, a little too slow for your pace. The offer wasn't much. Like, they weren't giving you much to work off of. But now I feel like the, this, the tables have turned. Knight of Pentacles, the world. The Ten of Swords. Somebody said that they were done doing something, that they were done um, analyzing or thinking, like they took a long time to think this through, but I'm getting that there was a chapter that closed. Um, this surprised you um, because you, you see, you're watching this person and then you're seeing this tower moment happen with this person. With the world and the Ten of Swords, that's saying that this, was, that this is over with. Ten of Cups and the Two of Wands. This person is ready for possibly a relationship um, after a period of them being childlike and, you know, running around. Now they see the bigger picture. Now they see what this could be. This could be something successful. You guys can manifest something together. Okay. I like that. Why is the Four of Swords here? The King of Swords. Oh, somebody's thinking real seriously. Somebody's thinking real hard. Why is the King of Swords here? Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Yes, like, I feel like you're tired of, um, you're going to get to a point where you're tired of, you know, worrying or stressing. You're accumulating a plan here. Yes, I'm getting it. The Magician and the Six of Wands. You want to make the best out of the situation. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Yes, there's constant worries, constant fears, or somebody's trying to inflict or install fear. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? The Hierophant. But I feel like with the Magician, yeah, I feel like... You want to make something official. You want something written on paperwork so it won't be too hasty, too all over the place. Like you want to make this real. Like you want to you want to do this. You want to do this. Oh wow. I'm getting an apology. The Knight of Cups and the Three of Swords. For how somebody did somebody. The Ten of Wands and the Five of Pentacles. Somebody left somebody out in the cold, did them dirty, left them with nothing. Why is the Page of Cups here? Yeah. Somebody wants to... I feel like you want to work on this relationship. I feel like this person is expressing their feelings to you or you to them. Um, with that Knight of Cups, there's an offer. I feel like you definitely want to try to work this out. Their energy being the Five of Cups... They're having regrets, okay? They're looking back at the situation, something that they did, betrayed you, stabbed you in the back. Yep. See, karma came knocking on their door. And now they want to resolve their problems. See, now we got the five of swords and the justice. So that's definitely karmic energy and somebody wanting to right their wrongs, okay? Somebody wanting to right their wrongs. Why is the ten of pentacles here? Look at this. Ten of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. Okay, so I feel like 
you are your hopes is that this is something long term that you possibly get married that you um can benefit off of this okay you may fear all oh, the seven of swords is here as well too you may fear that this person could be you know sly sneaky um could possibly try to run off with the money why is the ten of pentacles here yeah the two of swords two of swords this person stabbed you in the back before yeah see with the temperance you're uncertain how this is going to balance out when money gets involved in a situation because i see someone i see you're wanting to invest okay with the seven of pentacles you're waiting to see how this person is going to respond i feel like you're going to bring that up and see how this person responds why is the strength card here this is leo's energy but look at you oh spying look at y'all y'all watching y'all watching this person Y'all watching this person. Y'all keeping an eye on this person. Why is the moon here? You're very courageous. I'm getting Leo's energy here. Um, with the Eight of Swords. Somebody is uh you wanting to see if you you you're wanting to see if you have the guts to do it. You're wanting to see if they have the guts to do it. Because I got someone who is afraid to step outside of the box. I feel like someone is, is has instilled fear into this situation and put a lot of what ifs on it. I feel like um, someone is afraid to step outside of the box here. But you can't let fear hold you back. See, yeah, your intuition is telling you, let's see, to look at all your options. Your intuition is telling you that this may cause some confusion um, here with the Seven of Cups. And you don't want to feel like, you know, you wish you would have waited. Okay, why is the seven of cups here? Yeah, the two of cups. See, now you're contemplating on whether if you should blend, blend. You may have already have something going on. You may have your own, uh, you may be, you know, have started a new venture and you're thinking about blending this person in. But you may be kind of skeptical at the same time because this person betrayed you in some way, shape or form in the past. Why is the ten of swords here? Five of Pentacles, yep. See, they, they, I feel like some, someone was done very wrong in the past. Someone was done very wrong. Yeah, and this person is hoping that you'll forgive them. Like, this, some, something was done very wrong. Very wrong. They, they, somebody got betrayed left out in the cold and kept on hold okay like they put you on hold yep while they did what they wanted to do so you aren't too sure about this but i feel yeah and see you're afraid if this person is going to cheat is going to cheat you okay you're afraid if this person is going to cheat you so you're going to wait to give them this offer you're going to wait. The Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. You're going to wait to give them this offer because you're trying to figure out if this is real, if this is exactly what this person really wants. I feel like they're they're telling you like, you know, I'm sorry for how I did things. I really want this with you. But you're, you're going to make them prove, you're going to make them prove that they want to be this power couple. You're going to make them prove. Prove it. Prove it. <laughs> prove it. All right. So y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. And I will chat with y'all later.